Most people's entire state of being when they start their day is in the familiar past. Well, if you live in the familiar past, then it makes sense you're going to create the predictable future. Your body is your unconscious mind. Mm. Some people would rather cling to the familiar than take a chance in possibility. So for most people then they say, well, I don't really see how my thoughts have anything to do with my destiny. Well, that's because 95% of those thoughts are subconscious programs, right? So you're not even conscious that you think those thoughts. So the first step to change is starting to think about what you've been thinking about yes. and change it. And, and then when you begin to observe those thoughts, you're no longer the program. You're the consciousness observing Just the simply by being an observer of your thoughts. Right. Once you become aware of that, now, now the game is on, yes. right? Yes. Because now you're working to become conscious of that and not go unconscious again. And it takes an incredible amount of awareness. Yes. It takes a great amount of consciousness and you can't have consciousness without energy. Mm. So you gotta raise your energy in order to get to it. Otherwise, you're gonna be consumed. Yes. You're gonna return back, right? So, so if you start becoming familiar, so conscious of those unconscious thoughts, they would never slip by your mind and check by you. Now, that is when you really yeah. catch yourself, right? Yeah. And the research shows that you can get better at this. You could actually sense the thought before it comes. Here's the key. If you were able to become familiar with gratitude, become familiar with wholeness, become familiar with abundance, become familiar with freedom, and you're able to generate those chemicals every single day, more than likely you would be walking around feeling like your future has already happened and you would no longer be looking for it to happen. When you're connected to the past, you're looking for it. And if you're looking for it, you're separate from it. If you're being it, then, oh th then there's, there's, there's a complete change in energy and nobody changes until they change their energy. And when you change your energy, you change your life. You would already feel like it has happened. Now, what is the importance of that? Well, you're literally becoming somebody else. So you're leaving your lack. You're leaving your guilt. You're leaving your emptiness behind. Mm. You got to maintain that modified state of mind and body your entire day, mm. independent of the conditions in your outer environment, mm. independent of your body's cravings of those emotions and habituations, mm. and independent from time. Mm. And if you can, get ready because something weird or unusual, some synchronicity, some coincidence, some mm. opportunity is going to land in your lap, and you didn't have to go and get it. It came to you. Now you're the vortex of creation. People say to me, why do you meditate every morning? I say, because if I can overcome myself in the morning, the rest of my day is Gosh, easy. Is it's that easy. Not true? Because, because that's what it's about. You master yes. yourself, you master your life. Yes. And so then all the chatter in your head that yes. you listen to all day long, that is called the default mode network in the brain. Mm. Our research shows that shuts off, not just shuts off during the meditation, mm. it stays shut off for the rest of the day. Mm. So you just have a clear flow on yes. where you're going and you trust yourself more so then when you start practicing creating that brain and heart coherence you can believe in a future that you can't see or experience with your senses yet which you've thought about enough times in your mind <laughs> that it's actually there's physical evidence in your brain to look like it's already happened Man. and you can begin to understand you can select a new potential in the quantum field and every day emotionally embrace that future reality to such a degree that your body begins to believe it's living in that future reality in the present moment in the act of closing your eyes and just thinking about and rehearsing what you're going to do your brain doesn't know the difference yes. and if you get caught up in it you begin to install the neurological hardware in your brain to look like you've already done it. Done it. Now the brain's no longer a record of the past. Yeah. Now it's a map to the future. Okay. You are priming your brain and if you keep doing it, yes. the hardware will become a software program. You know what that means? You just might start acting like a happy person. Mm. Well, there's no surprise there. Mm. You install the circuit. Today we do battle. Mm -hmm. Today this is it. And you sit through that and you make your way, even though your body's trying to get up and you keep settling it back down, I'm telling you, yep. when you start your day that day, you will be more kind, more loving, less judgmental, more patient, more present, because you're mastering the present moment. That means you're not in the predictable future. You're not in the familiar past. You're mastering time. And so then, if where you place your attention is where you place your energy, and all of your attention is in the present moment, You've got a lot of energy to do amazing things. Oh. Close your eyes. Retreat from your life. Disconnect from your body. Disconnect from your environment. Disconnect from your schedule. And just give yourself 
an hour or 45 minutes or 20 minutes because when you invest in yourself you invest in your future and when you believe in yourself you believe in possibilities and when you believe in possibilities you believe in yourself that which we are seeking is seeking us it's not like <laughs> it, it is it, it matches our efforts mm. and so then when when people have that uncompromising will mm. come up against themselves and just say when the body's going given everything it has it's when you say that's all you got that's it that's all you're gonna put out to wow. I'm ready wow. and so then when you start overcoming that the side effect of it is that all of a sudden you're happy for no reason mm. and you're less seduced and believing that something else you need something outside of it outside of you to make you feel better mm -hmm. all of a sudden you're feeling better every day without anything outside of you